Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a puzzling issue that many React Native developers encounter. Our viewer is curious about the version code behavior when using the Enable Separate Build Per CPU Architecture option. They noticed that after setting this option to true, their version code jumped unexpectedly from 10 to over a million. Let's dive into the details and uncover what's happening behind the scenes. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now let's continue on. When you enable the separate build per CPU architecture option in React Native, it can indeed reduce the size of your APK. However, this also affects how version codes are generated. In your case, when you set the version code to 10, the build system generated a much larger version code until 48586. This is because the version code is calculated based on the architecture of the APK. The code snippet you found shows how the version code is overridden for each architecture. The formula used multiplies a base value by 148576 and adds the default version code. This means that for each architecture, the version code will be unique and significantly larger than what you might expect. If you create a new version after this, the version code will increment from 148586 to 148587. In summary, the large version code is normal when using separate builds for CPU architectures. Just ensure to manage your version codes carefully to avoid confusion. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. When using Enable Separate Build Per CPU Architecture in React Native, each APK needs a unique version code. This is because the version code increments with each app update. The solution is to add a constant for each architecture to your base version code, ensuring distinct values for each APK. As a result, you should let the build system manage the version code and instead focus on the version name. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. When using Enable Separate Build Per CPU Architecture in React Native, version codes can conflict. For example, if you start with a default version code of 1, the version codes for architectures will be calculated based on a multiplier. If you set the default version code to 2, the codes change again. However, if you then set it to 3, you may encounter a conflict where the version code for Armiabi V7A matches the previous XA6 version code. This issue arises because the version codes are derived from a formula that includes the default version code and a multiplier. It's important to manage these codes carefully to avoid conflicts in future releases. Ooh. 
Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To fix the version code issue in React Native, change the setting for enable separate build per CPU architecture from true to false. This will ensure that each build increments the version code by one. I hope that's found the resolution that you're looking for and you managed to work your way through your issue. Please, if it did help, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next technical time you need help, have a good one.